This one in my hand is a 980 Pro SSD, 2 terabyte, which I paid 20 bucks for. But it's not a Samsung 980 Pro. It's actually made by a Chinese factory called Delaihe Electronics Co. TLTD. And also, if we take a look at the connector, the 980 Pro is a Gen 4 SSD. This one is SATA. Is this yet another Chinese scam when it comes to PC hardware? Or is this an actual decent drive where they're just making poor marketing choices by trying to sell it to you, reminding you that the name is similar to Samsung? Well, this is why we're here today, so we can take a look. And of course, we are testing it on another Chinese motherboard, B450 Machinist, which I've also reviewed on the channel. It's a pretty good motherboard. And uh, yeah, I say we just keep it all into China. I also have a Chinese cooler and we go give it a look. Now, listen, there are lots of videos about these on the internet, but they have evolved because at the beginning, these were just scams. So you would just buy one and it was like 120 gigabytes, but they claimed two terabytes because if you put it into Windows, it appears as two terabyte, but the rest of the storage is not actually usable. This one, if we take a look at the chips, they appear to be there. So this may actually be at least a one terabyte drive, I think, but we're gonna just test it out and see. Again, I bought it on AliExpress, of course, 20 bucks. If it even works, I'm gonna be surprised. Let's go. I've just spent quite a few days testing the mysterious 980 Pro SSD. I shouldn't say NVMe SSD. And we finally have the results. Now, this was a lot weirder than I was expecting, but it also kind of makes sense. So let's go in order. I just mounted the NVMe on a Chinese motherboard and put it into a PC. Installed Windows and Windows installed normally. However, I could immediately see that the speed was not what it used to be on even the cheapest NVMe drive. So Windows took a few minutes to install, whereas nowadays it's basically instant for the actual file transfer from the USB key. But it all went fine, and after booting into Windows, the drive showed up correctly as a true terabyte drive. So at this point, I was actually pretty happy. I was like, okay, okay, it seems to be working. I then decided to open hardware monitor, which nowadays has a very, very detailed sensor list for drives. It can see how many hours they've run, it can see the name of the drive and even the serial number very often. But the guys in China, they completely hid all of that. So the only thing you're gonna read is two terabyte SSD and it doesn't matter which software you open it, it's still gonna show up like that. They put some kind of uh, firmware arrays on the name and just uh, made it just like that for every single one, which makes me think like, what would happen if I put two of those in the same system? Would the system go a bit crazy? I don't know, that's the first anomaly which is why I wanted to test the actual performance. Now we know that the SSD is SATA M.2, which means it has a theoretical cap of 600 megabytes per second. So I then run Crystal Disk Mark and it went pretty much as I was expecting. So it ended up doing basically the same result as a SATA SSD would, basically in the 500 megabytes per second range. Good thing is it wasn't really dropping even at 4K and performance was very consistent overall, which actually surprised me positively, which is why I went ahead and installed my whole game library on the drive and it installed. It slowed down a little bit after we surpassed the 500 gigabytes point, it definitely slowed down, perceived, but in the benchmark, it remained somehow the same. That also means that two terabyte they claim is actually real, but it is very slow SATA storage. So they claim to have some kind of cache on the drive. That's clearly not the case. It is basically a SATA drive rebranded. The cool thing though is since it's not a Gen 4 PCIe drive, it runs cold. As you can see from my hardware monitor while doing Crystal Disk Mark, it was running at around 40 degrees under full load peak. I double checked that of course with the thermal imaging camera and it came out to be about the same. I was registering 45 in the hottest place on the drive, which means you can literally slot it anywhere, laptop, mini PC, PlayStation, whatever you want, no problem. However, one has to wonder about the reliability of such drives, because all in all, by what I've seen, by what I've tested, the conclusion would be very positive, which means this drive is not a scam, it's just false advertising, which is still very anti-consumer, but it means if you know what you're buying, you can get a 20 bucks, two terabyte drive, which is slow, but it's still two terabyte drive in NVMe form. So for some very budget builds, if you wanna store some files you don't access often, it can be actually a good choice. Where I have an issue though is I don't know how long this is gonna last because of course you have the five year warranty of the box, but uh, realistically you have absolutely zero warranty on this thing. AliExpress does offer a warranty, but if the drive fails one year from now, 
there's not much you can do. So I would say I cannot recommend this drive to the average consumer at all, but I can recommend it to people who know what they're getting and are happy with trying out something new for cheap and they don't care if it breaks or slows down in the future. But as usual in my videos, if you've had any kind of experience with drives like this, please let me know. I especially want to know if a drive failed on you. Please drop a comment. I will pin it if the drive broke on you so people can see. Maybe just avoid it and that's it. If these start to break, we just have to avoid it. I will, of course, keep the drive and update in the comments if it fails on me. And as usual, if you watched the video this far, maybe drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm testing a lot of other Chinese hardware, including motherboards and a lot of weird things on the channel. So you may like those videos too. And I really hope to see you guys again. Bye bye.